we think someone broke into my house. And we're gonna booby trap the entire thing and surround the entire property with cameras. You get right to this, boom. Marco, imagine he's in here just like chilling. I know for 1000% fact, this was locked. It's sticky, what is that? <laughs> Dude, it's grape jelly, why the f is there grape jelly on the floor? Me... Oh, they took a poop, they left me a steamy. Was that open? There's no way I, I would've left that light I down. I know, I know. Now this is the camera that should have got the person opening the box. What's going on, folks? Welcome back to another video. We're starting the day off with the animals. It's starting to rain. We have an important video planned today. Uh, there's been a potential, potential English stuff, potential burglary in one of my houses uh, next to my new house. Um, I got word that somebody has broken in and we are going to investigate it. But before that, we got to take care of the animals. Those guys are a priority. But I wanted to share something with you. Bam, look at that. We got fly paper wrapped around five gallon buckets. Look at all them little critters right there. About oh, time. Flies. About time. Yeah, we're getting them now. So if you have a fly problem like me, I mean, I've tried everything. I've spent, I bet this year I spent over a thousand dollars on fly, either traps or bait. I mean, I've tried the fly little, spray. the little hornets. Oh, the with the spray, easily a thousand dollars. I mean, the spray is like $50 a jug and we go through like a jug every two weeks. Um, that would probably be the least expensive method that I have found that actually work and gets flies trapped dead and, and does an effective job. And it's super easy to clean. It doesn't smell. And big boy Ralph is appreciative because then he don't have all them flies, you know, same thing with Carol. You ain't got them flies on you, Carol, which is what she's about. So anyways, well, I just had to share that a little bit with you guys and uh, let's get these guys fed. There you go, Dale. Why do you have so many turkeys? Yeah, I don't know. I think these guys are about ready. Oh, Carol! Oh, she's Carol! Old. Why is everyone freaking wild? I don't know why we have so many turkeys. We're getting ready for catch and cook season. Important thing today is we gotta go check on the house because it did get broken into. My neighbor called me, said it got broken into, so we're gonna check it out. But before we go do that, I guess a huge shout out to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring today's video. Now you may have heard about Raid Shadow Legends and their awesome champions. There's over 600 now, but they also have an insane variety of bosses. My favorite boss is Bomo the Dreadhorn. Why? He's a freaking lava rhino. He will set you on fire, loves bombs, and he's an absolute freaking unit. He has a whole host of tools that he uses to mess you up. He strips your buffs and places bombs you can't block or remove. He also summons Dread Bomb minions that blow up and wreck your team when they take a turn. And this month, Raid has a non-stop schedule packed with special events and activities, including Forge Season Pass 3. They're offering some amazing rewards, including a limited edition artifact set. Raid is also bringing out some brand new champions, along with some awesome looking champion skins for the incredible Madam Saris. And last, later this month, Death Knight is becoming a legendary champion. Right now is the best time to get started in Raid, if you click the link down in the description down below or scan my QR code here on the screen, you'll get unique bonuses worth $30. We're talking a free epic champion, Aina, 200,000 silver, one energy refill, and one XP boost, and one ancient shard. So you can summon awesome champions as soon as you get in the game. And all of this treasure will be waiting for you inside of your inbox in the game. Huge shout out to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring today's video. It's brands like them that I partner up that allow me to do every single day, which is making videos for you guys at home to enjoy. So with that being said, let's get back to the video. We think someone broke into my house. Yes, we are up at the uh, abandoned, haunted, um, sucks for the burglar because there was nothing inside house. But my neighbor called me and he's like, hey, uh, you've been up at the, the new, oh, there's some, look at them horses. Hey, how you doing? Those are some nice horses. Big horses. Really? Think we should get some? Yeah. Anyways, my neighbor called me and says, hey, you've been up here. Your door's wide open. Look. It's wide open. I know we think this property has ghosts, but I don't think this was ghosts. This is a very sophisticated ghost. Yeah. He's like, hey, just letting you know, the, the horse guy, he called me. So he's got his horses. He comes out here twice a day. And he's like, hey, I was out there yesterday morning. Door wasn't open. I was there last night. Nothing was open. I came out this morning, and it's open. Were you out here? And I was like, nah, I ain't been there. So we haven't been inside. We haven't really checked anything out. Um, I don't want to, like, go too crazy. There's a chance this video doesn't even make the light of day, assuming that it, 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 no one did break in, but from what I gathered, I, I was asking questions. It sounds like somebody somehow broke in, um, jimmied the door open, uh, so to speak, and we don't know if they've taken anything, if they vandalized anything or whatever. Um, but like I so said, this is at this is at my new property. I'm building my house down yonder, but this is like the the house that's been here that we're not sure what to do with. We can either move it, destroy it, or live in it, uh, which I don't know which one we're gonna do. But for now, it's just sitting here. And um, somebody thought maybe I kept some nice things in there. Uh, like I said, jokes on them. We didn't, so I'm gonna come check this out. This is potentially not good. Um, here's the thing, I talked to my other neighbor and they said they saw a vehicle out here 
Um, and they said that it kind of looks suspicious and they got the license plate number. So I'm like 95% sure we know who did it, but the police were kind of like, yeah, I mean, you're going to need a little bit more than, hey, suspicious car in the area at this time of day. You know, like you're going to need more than that. So today's objective is to, we brought everything, assuming that somebody did a break in, we brought everything we need to bait somebody to hopefully not break in again, but come maybe be a porch pirate. That's what yeah. they call it. Yeah. yeah. Mark Robert, he, he does these videos, the porch pirate. So you put a package on your porch and they steal it. And so we kind of figured, well, if somebody try to break in, maybe they'll see the package and we're going to booby trap the entire thing and surround the entire property with cameras. Um, and it that doesn't necessarily mean the porch pirate is who broke into my house. Regardless, we might catch somebody stealing, which would be exciting because I don't like a thief. No one likes a thief. You know what? If, if it was up to me, if I was the, the judge of the country, if you steal, chop your hand off, clean off. If, if you're right-handed, chop your right hand off. Go, I mean, gone. Yeah, I mean, you nubs. Probably, you probably wouldn't steal again and probably couldn't. If but. you did one more time, then now you're for sure not stealing again. Nubs. Sh once, shame on you, chop. Twice, no hands. Three, t three times, yeah, what are you you're chopping them arm? feet off, son. Oh, wow. Yeah, get, yeah. We're just, I, I would, I, I would, I would chop your hand off. If you steal. Stealing is the most cowardly thing you could possibly do. There's no reason to be doing. There's nothing that can justify stealing. Anyways, this is kind of the situation we're after. So, uh, my neighbor told me, he said, "Hey, your storm door's propped open. Look at that. It's just wide open like that. That's crazy." Think someone's still like living in there. No, I doubt anyone's in there. My, my, I told my neighbor, I said, "Well, you can go make sure." You know, nothing's broken, whatever. And he said he didn't see much. But he also had never been in this house, which we have. So we don't know what, you know, thing was kind of in shambles already. So maybe my neighbor thought it was worse. But looking at it here, this was propped open, which is interesting. I thought about this on the drive here. I was like, why would they prop the store? Like, I don't know. I'm not a thief, guys. But if I was a thief and I went inside whether I stole something or not, I'd probably, like, make it look like I wasn't there. Because if they would have done that, I probably wouldn't have questioned it. And I wouldn't be doing this whole operation now. But... Shout out to them for being dumbasses, uh, but they left this open. So my only thought was if they're inside and for some reason they get spooked, they hear something, they have to make a run really, really fast. This door is open and they kind of have to, I feel like that door should also be on that side, but I'm not that guy. Anyways, uh, so that's the only thing. The other thing that we noticed, now that I'm standing up here, I don't know if you guys can, can you guys, we should go down there. I don't know if they can see it. Can you, can you guys, you, why don't you go stand down there? I'm not sure. Oh yeah, you guys, look at those tire tracks right there. Those are not mule tire tracks. They're wide. So, so walk to the walk to the end. Where do they stop? Right here. So if you had a pickup truck or a van, you back that sucker down right there. You open this door. You go inside, and you got a dude right here that you're handing stuff off to to load it. I mean, this is a serious operation. This was this wasn't no joking around. We didn't even notice that. It's it's like that that's for sure because there's a bunch of mule tires. That see those guys taking care of the horses over there. So there's a bunch of mule. That's not mule tires. Those are super super wide. Yeah. And it stops right there. So I'm like, why would anyone drive on the grass? It doesn't make any sense. My thought is they probably backed down, stopped there, propped this door open, and we're planning on moving and grooving quickly. Now, you might be wondering, ooh, I didn't notice that. What's going on up there? Oh. There's a little bit of damage there, but right. see, watch this, you ready? Yeah, I'd probably break in that house too. There ain't much going on there. Yeah. See, the thing is it was not like that yeah. though, for sure, because we've been here many times. So we are looking at it, but look at this. You see the, the indent? It's all indented right there. If you shut the door, they put a little jimmy rig, and you can see now it won't latch. It got all out of it got all out of whack right there. So you can see there's a dent. I don't think that look, it's perfectly straight. This whole thing, straight. You get right to this, boom, indent. So to me, that I don't I'm not a thief. Yeah. They got some type of Little Jim, little Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy Red Crowbar of some sort. So I'm guessing that's how they did it. Um, we have not checked the other doors because there's uh, three doors to this house. Um, we have not checked the other ones. But Marco, imagine he's in here just like chilling. Yeah, I'm not scared. My, like, so my neighbor already, he already did a little walkthrough. So, but that thing is just, it doesn't, now it doesn't work. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I'm not. And what I know for 1,000% fact, this was locked. Yes. Like 10,000%. Yeah. And it works. Yeah. So, but if you see, see how you can still push it? Yeah. That's what, that's what they did. So imagine it latches, but look, you, you yep. take a crowbar, all you do is this. And it opens. Yeah. And then they got in here and twisted it. Yeah. I know, I bet I can probably find video footage of us twisting this when we oh, tour. Yeah. It was locked. Oh, a thousand. There's no reason why yeah. it wouldn't be locked. Yeah. 
it thousand percent it was locked so that's all they did was they stuck a little jimmy and they popped the door open um obviously the deadbolt either they got it open found a key or it wasn't locked which i don't like i've never i've never in my life come through this door ever all it's i remember been every time we would just do that yes. so i guess yeah we would never we like, never checked we never there. checked but yeah they they broke that so that's so that's all you have to do is you have to stick something there and it looks like it compresses it. Yeah, I mean you can see so right where. So I think isn't isn't it supposed to be the other way for that reason? Like so, I think this this is yeah. in backwards, but the, they have the wrong hand. Like that thing, I'm almost positive as because if you yeah. push here, you can't yeah, get you it. Yeah, you can't do that. You have to go from this side. But look at even the little wear on it. Yeah. That fresh shine where they set, mm -hmm. took a little crowbar. Mm -hmm. So. Like I said, jokes on these guys, because honestly, if they would have just thrown a match at this sucker, I would have been. Is that? They took a dookie. Is that wet? Snip it. Do I touch it? Snip it first. Oh, it's sticky. What is that? <laughs> I don't know what that is. Like, look, look ready? Oh, it's jelly. <laughs> I think they made a quick. Oh, it's everywhere. Look, there's more right here. And more right here. Oh, it's jelly. <laughs> what? Dude, it's jelly. Did they make a sandwich in here? But he had a quick PB and J before he took off. Like, no, that's. Make... Dude, tell me that's not. How is that not? That's got to be jelly. What? How? Look at. Watch this. Is je... Is it grape? It, dude, it's grape jelly. I swear <laughs> to God. I swear. Dude, it's grape jelly. I want to lick it, but I can't. It's grape jelly. <laughs> Dude, it's grape jelly. Why the fuck is there grape jelly on the floor? Let me sniff it. Let me sniff it. You want to give it a sniff? Yeah, I'll give it a sniff. You have to go deep. Oh, that's grape jelly. 100%. That's grape jelly. 100%. Dude, is, should we look in the fridge if there's grape jelly in there? Like, did they make a PB&J? Like, I'm interested. Okay, Why? here's the thing. You put grape jelly on the floor, how long does it... It's got to harden at some point. That's got to be fresh, right? I would think, like, within 48 hours. Oh, gosh. This is your PB&J bandits. What's this guy? He came in, made a fat sandwich, and left. Disrespect. There's no way. Yeah, let's see. Let's see what we got going on. I don't think there should be anything in here. Just imagine one jar yeah, of jelly. Dude. Or it's like one. You seen those TikToks where people cover cover themselves? Where's we got a light in this place? Here we go. Where they cover themselves <laughs> in stuff yeah. like peanut butter. Peanut butter. And yeah. the kids like, eh? Ah. You. Yeah. Like we walk downstairs and Buddy's just covered in jelly. The Jelly Man. Okay. I don't even call him. This is the. We're we're going after the Jelly Man. All right. We better lock this. So one option I thought of was like, the problem is they already broke in once. The odds of them breaking in again is very they slim. Know what's in here. Dude, how sick would it be to sit in here with like ghillie suits and just light them up? I mean, just ba ba ba, just give them like hit them with a taser. Don't kill them. Just light their ass up. You know what I mean? Like that—that's the least they mostly deserve. You yeah. get what I'm saying? They probably thought somebody already robbed the place the way this yeah, place looks. I mean, yeah. there's all sorts of. I mean, they didn't want to take that nice chandelier. But like, see how this is open? Yeah. I didn't do that. No. But there's... Oh, well, that's that idea. Like, I have never opened any of this stuff. They take a poop? Wait, what is that? Oh, they took a poop. They left me a steamy. What the hell? Is there a turd in there? I think there's a turd down there. <laughs> Why that? is that running? What did... Did you put that toilet seat there? No, I put that toilet seat there. Why is that like that? Why does it look like that? I don't know. Can we, should we flush it? No, I'm afraid it's gonna. F he might have clogged it. <laughs> that's why it's just sitting there. Dude, that's gross. He left me a floater, the Jelly Man. Let's see, there's literally nothing. There's nothing for the Jelly Man to take. How many jelly sandwiches do you have to have for your poop pillows like that? That's a lot of jelly sandwiches. Oh my gosh, dude, this Jelly guy. Well, I we gotta find more jelly. Dude, there's gotta be more jelly. There ain't nothing, dude. Look, there's really nothing for Buddy to take. He was probably so pissed, like he had to have been so angry. I thought it was crude. Do you think he was wiping out here? I know. Maybe he didn't have napkins for his peanut butter and jelly, and he used this. Oh. Why? Why would that be there? I got. I gotta go watch my old videos to see. Was that toilet paper there? Because I feel like it wasn't. Where is there any more jelly? Why is there grape jelly on the floor? I, we have to put it on something now and see how long it takes for it to harden. No jelly. No jelly. So buddy, buddy was just he was real disappointed. Yeah. No jelly for this guy, huh? I can't believe he had jelly. Check this room and we'll go downstairs. Oh, do you think he pooped in here too? Yeah. Nah, dude. See, that's what, that's what it should look like. It's yeah. dry. Yeah. He definitely sharded in that toilet. He had to have. He had to have. 
He had to have. Why would it? Why else would it look like that? I know it. I've owned this house for a year. It's never looked like that. No. Why does it all of a sudden look like somebody had freaking Taco Bell? I don't know. He had, he had peanut butter and jelly. I guess apparently he's allergic. Maybe I don't know. Beep. Was that? I was. I say was that open? There's no way I, I would have left that like I that. I know. I never pulled any of them up. Why? I would not have left that like that. Why would this be open? Well, I mean, what what good would he be doing up here? I di I didn't leave that open. No. So I gotta go watch my old videos. But I haven't been here. Like only time I come here is to film. So if it wasn't like this on video, it, that's not how it was. Here besides the grape jelly. Besides, <laughs> I wish we were making this up. There's freaking grape jelly on the ground. This was open, which I think we always close. Yeah, I, I always do, and then there's a pin. Yeah. I always latch it. Yeah. So, so that was that's open. My neighbor, and I talked to him because he came and shut. Look how scary this house is. He said that this light right here was on because I had him just turn everything off. Mm -hmm. uh, he said this light was on, which I'm like, there's no way we would have left this light on if you know coming back and forth. Like there's certain things we're gonna accidentally. Yeah, this light's on too. Oh, yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, I did not, I didn't, I don't, I wouldn't leave these lights on. That's, oh, they're both, both, I'll say both doors are open. And that one. Oh, the top one, too. They're all open. We, dude, I've never done there, that. That back there sketches me out. Like, he could be back there. Honestly, he can have a place if he, if, if he wants to live there. Yeah. He didn't want to take this nice piano? What the hell? He probably tried to figure out how heavy Imagine hearing that at night. Well, oh, I just got, I just walked into a massive spider. Right? Everywhere. Ooh. So... There's really nothing for him to take. This I did not leave these open. Look. No. So no, actually that one's shut. This one's cracked. Should we get his fingerprints or what? Yeah, I guess should I not touch things? I mean he didn't take anything. Yeah. Is break, breaking and entering still a crime yeah. though, right? Yeah. I would hope. I for sure didn't leave this. This is questionable, yeah. but it looks like he just went like this, open eat because they go to each side, yeah. and then left. Dude, I said he wasn't good at cleaning yeah. up his tracks. Yeah. Like, dude, make it look like you weren't here if you're gonna be a dumbass. Yeah. And then this. He didn't want this nice washer dryer? What the hell? That would have been perfect. Right? I'm guessing he just opened to see if there was anything valuable and left. He said, nah, I'm good. Talk about one of the worst houses to break into. This one's probably up there. Yeah. Like, there's nothing. Oh, here's a door out here. Make sure this is freaking locked. Yeah, that one's got a deadbolt on it, dude. So, I'm not sure. if He could have tried it from the out. We can check from the outside, too. Yeah. But, I mean, like, all these windows are locked. Yeah, you can't. I, I'm not really running breaking in again. There's no. literally nothing, but I'm thinking a thief is a thief, and he may be pissed that there was nothing here. So we're gonna leave him a little snacky snack. Not a peanut butter. We should, dude. Leave him on crustables. He'd for fine. sure break in again. Gotta we should definitely it. get a box on crustables. He would break in on a heartbeat. Grape, though. Yeah, grape, grape on crustables, and he'd yeah. be he'd be horned up about it. We're gonna try to bait this guy. Um, like I said, we're pretty positive we know who it is. At least what vehicle they drove. Maybe it's not theirs, but we know what vehicle they drove. And we got to get them to come back and get some more evidence before the police will actually act. So we're going to go out here. I'm sure he's not watching us right now. Them horses are... They're, keep, they're keeping a close eye. So we brought some packages. See, so, all right, shut this. right, let's shut this door. Let's act like, hey, buddy, we know you broke in, but we don't care. Don't worry. We, we just, we thought it was the wind. It definitely wasn't you and your truck backing in right here. That's definitely the wind. Would yeah. you rather sell a hedge trimmer or a weed eater? Probably a hedge trimmer. It almost looks like a chainsaw from far. Yeah, but that's kind of what I'm thinking. I mean, you could definitely do them both where it's like, oh, this place needs cleaned up. I don't know why I didn't think about that. That was a total accident, not planned whatsoever. I literally, I unpacked a Starlink, brought Starlink and just like a literally random Amazon like, box. Look at the, like this box pops. Oh yeah, cause you the green. See it so far. Dude, having both would not be super sus either. No. Like. They go together, you'd buy them at the same time. Yeah, let's do both. So we have trail, we have these trail cameras here. We've got four of them set up. So what we have to do is we have to find a way to ensure we get front and back license plate to confirm it's the same person. Because if we just get the person stealing the packages, it could be another thief. So we need them to drive the same car that my neighbor's already confirmed. So we need to put a camera probably right there. We, I, I parked where I thought they liked it. Look at this. See, look at all these tracks. That is the mule. Look how wide these are. They 100% backed up. Why else would there be tracks right? And those are wide, thick. Like those are really skinny, narrow mule tracks. Those are thick. That's a, that's a truck tire. They backed up to it. I'm telling you, they did it. They thought they were in for a heist of a lifetime. Joke's on them. All they got was soggy peanut butter sandwiches. Yes, dude, let's do both. That's a good idea. So we're thinking probably one right there. And then for the front license plate, we have to hide these because if they see the cameras, they're gonna know the jig's up. So we're thinking probably another one in those bushes facing the front of the truck. So that way, front and back. And then, oh my gosh, someone's definitely stealing those. That looks so good. So we're thinking for 
the say cheese camera one right in here this is going to be sketchy down really low shooting straight up i mean just a straight up say cheese you're, moment you're going to get when they're walking back with yeah the yeah you say say cheese and then there's a nice bush right here this bush we can put it on like a little stake or whatever up in here shooting that way so that way it's like yeah you're probably not gonna get their face but like you're gonna get a lot of it'll this will be the most lengthy situation like them walk you're gonna get them walking all the way up i thought about putting them in those trees the problem is when you get up on the porch you're immediately your eyes are looking up there this i don't there's no reason for them to look back here so put it nice and low hidden shoots up it might just get their back if jelly man decides to go in again we oh. get that little more yeah that. true jelly man if jelly man goes inside then we're yeah. we're in business oh that's such a good that is so i don't know why i didn't think about that that yeah. is so good that is so good that's gonna work for sure so we're gonna get the cameras we'll get them set up i'll show you where they're at and then it's a waiting game for the jelly man stay tuned all right, we got four cameras deployed. We got front of your license plate right there. Bam! See in the front of the truck. And then if you either have a rear license plate, which you should, or you go the opposite way, it doesn't really matter. We got, bam, one next to the light pole. Can you guys see it? See, I didn't think so either. We got one over there. And then once you park, we have two angles for your car. Bam, bam, get knocked out. Now, I'm going to be strolling down this lane here. Oh, look, some nice new electric lawn tools or whatever. Keep on walking, keep on walking. Bam! Camera against that bush. You're not gonna probably get a complete face, but there's a lot of range of motion. This is gonna guarantee to get a photo of the person. Now, you might be thinking, where's the fourth one? You come up here, you grab your boxes, turn around, bam! Say cheese. Mother They're right there. That's gonna get them done dead good. I mean, it is up in your grill, hidden down there, wrapped up. Now you might be thinking, well, they might turn around and see it and steal it. Too late! Sends the pictures directly to my cell phone with live video everything is set and done so four ways we got two on the car two on the person and the decoy with the yard tools has been deployed we will see you guys hopefully when we catch the uh what's the jelly man jelly the, je the jelly bandit stay tuned Shoo! Alrighty, folks it has been officially one week since we've been trying to catch the jelly man and well we have some stuff to work with unfortunately our bait meaning the uh, the boxes of ego. I guess no one around here likes to do freaking yard work because no one took the boxes. Oh, was that box like that though? I thought you said you stood them up, yeah? Wait, that box was not like that. See how, oh, oh. wait, wait. It's cracked open. Banjo, we might have had the jelly man here. Look, yeah. look, look at that. We would not have left that like that. You think somebody grabbed it and was like, oh, it's empty? That camera's been working. That camera died because look at the strap over it. So the one camera that, dude, there's no way we would have left it like that though. It so we, like dude, look at this. Here. That's how it was when I got here. We would not have left that like that. Someone looked in Looks there. like somebody came up here and like popped it open and was like looking around and stuff to see if there was I don't something. have any photos of anybody though, dude. We might have to pull the cards, but like, dude, I went on the app and I never saw a single photo of anybody. I know. Like, someone had to have, though. So we have a ton of pictures of interesting stuff. We didn't get that photo, but I'm almost positive we, we didn't. I don't think we left it like that, but I also don't. I have to go back and watch the footage. Maybe you guys saw it. I mean, the boxes are empty, so obviously, you know, if somebody comes up here, then they're going to know. But like, gosh, I'm just like, I just have a hard time believing that we left it like that. And that, that camera didn't get, because that camera got a ton of photos. So we're going to go inside. One Here's one thing we're going to figure out. Is the jelly still um, sticky, like ultra sticky? Because if it's not, oh, this doesn't even work. What did you do there? You're good. Oh, oh I, yeah, that thing don't work. No, I, was, I thought the doorbell might work. Yeah. We're gonna see if the jelly's still sticky. If the jelly is hard, the jelly man's substance is hard. Then <laughs> I think I couldn't, even, I couldn't even say that with a straight face. Then we know that the jelly man is in fact the burglar. Now, if the jelly is soft and the same consistency that it was before. Basically, we're trying to figure out how long does it take for jelly to, get to, to stop being sticky? Because when we came out here, the jelly was sticky, which was right after the break-in. And so we're convinced that the jelly man uh, is the one who broke in, but if this is still super sticky, then technically that jelly could have been here before the jelly man broke in. So maybe it's not, he's not the jelly man after all. So that's what we're gonna, that's what we're gonna figure out. So I gotta give the old tongue test here. No, I'm just kidding. Man, it looks sticky still. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, you're just touching it. I like mean, that? I mean, it's definitely dry. It's drier. It's definitely dry, dude. It's because you had it on your dude, finger. Oh, see, time. there's nothing on my yeah. finger. No, it's dry. Oh, rip. 
Yeah. No, that's it. See, because yeah. I remember before I did this, it I remember was, it was it was, it was sticky on my fingers. There was where was the other mark? Probably in my ass. There was another another splooge state. Was, there was two though, right? Yeah, it was a smaller one, wasn't it? I could have swore there was two. Oh, right here. Yeah, it, see, dude, it's not like it's not getting on me at all. Like if I do this, all right, give it a lick. Like there's nothing. Dude, that's definitely grape jelly, bro. Not strawberry. No, no, no it's grape. It's grape. It's sure not like a jam. It might. It could be. It could be grape jam. <laughs> but, it's, but the thing is, is it's so, jam or jelly. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> Does it matter? The jam. The jam man. The jelly man. That's so confirmed though. This is definitely not nearly as sticky. It's not fresh anymore. It was fresh last time. I mean, it was fresh. I mean, that that's proof. Like, tell me, there's, just, there's nothing on my like. There's nothing on my fingers. I remember filming the rest of the day, going, t -t -t, and my finger was sticking to the lens as I was holding. Mm. Like, it was sticky, very, very sticky. So one week, within one week, the jelly went from super sticky to not sticky at all, which tells me the jelly's been here less than probably two weeks, or it had already been there for less than. Uh, a week, which yeah. would make the the window, the gap between when the jelly could have been placed on the carpet to when we arrived, probably just a few days. And then the odds are that when they broke in, and we, no, I mean, they had to have broken in that night because my neighbor said they didn't see the door open. So it's like, it had to have been that night. When How else could you get jelly in here? Jelly man committed the crime. It's got to be the jelly. It's yeah, jelly man. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. We, did we check the boxes for fingerprints made out of jelly or... Do you think he's like covered head to toe in jelly and he just I walks around? Yeah. yeah. Like the peanut butter baby. Yeah, he might. Uh, yeah, he, yeah, meh. He's, huh? That guy? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that might be it. Because this is not, it's it's dry. Yeah. And there's there's nothing to it. So I'd say that's confirmed. So while we're sitting here, I did some screenshots of the photos. We're going to start here. So this is, we got deer. It looks like we got one doe. Oh, yeah. See that guy? I can't, there's nothing over there. Yep, the dough. Ooh, Ooh. bearded turkey. Ooh. We got some turkey action, some more gobblers, and some rabbits. Oh, yum. They're getting it on. Yeah, yeah. ooh, horny. Yeah, they're getting it. More rabbits. So they're, uh, oh, tur that's a young guy. That's a little guy. A little turkey. Okay. Mama. Oh, my oh, wow. gosh. Bunch of little guys. how many guys. there are. There's a ton. So this place is obviously down for turkey. This, the I turkey guess. hunting's pretty, pretty solid. So there's quite a few turkey photos. Ooh. That that looks like maybe like a, a, a looks like a cat. Yeah, like a black cat with like yeah. a longer tail. So no jelly man, so to speak. But I wanted to show you guys some of the other photos we got. Got another rabbit. There's plenty of wildlife, so you guys can look forward to that. Now this is the camera that should have got the person opening the box. And as you can see, we got two deer there, and we still got two deer. Dang, oh, there's that cat. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, that's, that's a, a cat. cat. Yeah, yeah. There's, yeah. A, there's a cat. So we got a kitty. Um, there's a daytime deer. That's at six. A, that's at six a.m. Wow. So, I mean, they're out. Yeah. Look at Mama. No, I haven't seen any bucks. And then we got some more turkeys. What the heck, dude? I know this is ten a.m. This place it's, is dialed. The, the turkeys are going hard. Uh, we got more deer. So this is at the. Um, this is to catch the back license plate up yeah. by the road. That's this camera. So we got deer. More deer. <laughs> the deer out by the house. Nice. Right. Like these right deer don't the right in the light. What are these things thinking? Yeah. Well, there's two. There's two of them. Oh yeah. I didn't even realize. That was like that. on the porch almost. Yeah, they're hanging out on the porch. I don't. Know, I, I saw all these deer and I was like, I think a deer just like straight up kicked this door in and then. I've never seen a. <laughs> I've never like seen, those, you seen a deer like, walk through like go through yeah, like a glass yeah. window. Like or those something? videos like at the mall where they like yeah. jump through the glass. But have you ever seen one have jelly? <laughs> maybe, maybe they do like sweet. They like sweet. Maybe they smelled the jelly and broke in. I don't. So we still but don't know where the jelly came. Yeah, yeah, the jelly. I don't know where the jelly came from. We got another daytime. It's a little six a.m. So if you want to kill a deer, six a.m. Yeah, it comes sit on the porch, and in the middle of the night. So probably shouldn't hunt then. But and then there's yeah, there's a deer back there. See, I thought that was a buck. See, it looks like there's an mm. antler right there. Yeah. But I don't think it actually is. So then this is where things get interesting. We had a photo taken in the evening at seven thirty. Of well, actually, I think the first one was at six forty-seven. Okay of two individuals walking down the driveway. Okay? Okay. So we're, we're at this time hiding their identity, but there's two individuals walking, and they went down there at 6.47 p.m., and they came back at 7.30. So 45 minutes? They were there for almost an hour. What the 
So I, I don't know what's going on there. What were they doing? Well, I don't know why you'd be walking on my property. They, they were going down. That's my that's my driveway that they're on. That's not a road that they're on. That's my yeah. driveway to my house, to my new house. So they walk down to my new house for 45 minutes, and no one knows what happened. Yeah. No one knows what they did. I feel like we got to go check on the house. So we got to go check on the house, just to make sure yeah. everything's good. Um, we also have a possum. He's hanging out. And then this is them walking from a different angle. Okay. Um, so same, same, same people, just taking an evening stroll right down Flair Lane, which is not acceptable. Um, that's them walking in. And then we got more turkeys that are, that are going on. That's in the morning, 10 a.m. So 10 a.m. turkey. So 6 a.m. deer, 10 a.m. turkey. They're Dang. pretty much dialed. That's dialed. And then we have another car that's coming at 550. Actually, that's them. That's them coming back. These photos are reversed. They went down at 547. Go back to the other one. Did they have, there's no license plate. And there's plate, no right? license plate. So they were only down there for three minutes. So I don't think they did a, a bunch, but. Their back license plate is a dealer plate. Now wait, it gets crazier. Just wait. Dealer plate, right? What kind of car? Um, yeah. It's a Volkswagen, I'm pretty uh, sure. A little VW action? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. So no front license plate, and the back license plate is a dealer. But it gets it gets crazier. You ready for this? So that's them leaving from the other one. Yeah, so, so all the angles, dude. We had them from every yeah, angle, we and we were... still didn't get them. Still didn't get them. And then, well, actually, that's not the first one. Then a car comes at... 2.58, almost 3 p.m. Okay. And it has dealer plates. A different car? Different yeah. car. What? Chevy. Dealer plates. Has dealer plates. How long did they stay for? And they were there for one minute. So that's just like them driving and turning around. Yeah. So, so are people just they, like going down to check the house out? Like uh -huh. that fast, do you think they're just like looking to, at the packages? Just like, you know, check to see if they're there day after day? Mm. I don't know. And like somehow, like they pull in, but they don't want to like just stop. So then they they just drive down, act like they're doing something, and turn around. Yeah, but they're really just scoping yeah, the packaging out. like they're really? at the wrong property and like turning around. But either way, we have like six different camera angles and didn't get a single license plate. Yeah. I Both like dealer plates, really? That doesn't make that's what are the odds of that? Those in the same in, those, those two were, cars are connected. I was gonna say, well, let me see those dates real quick. Are they like a day apart? The same day. About an hour and a half apart. What? Is there just like a dealership that's taking test drives up here and they use? Yeah, they're the testing my to gravel road around? for a freaking suspension test. That's where they turn around. That don't make sense. Yeah, they come if from they, the dealership. If they turn around, why would they turn around though? What, yeah. are they, what are they turning around for? There's nothing to turn around at. I don't know. That like the property out here is like there's a decently busy road nearby, but it's not like if you're over here, it's because you live over here. There's no there's no way reason to be over yeah. on this, yeah, especially no, not on the driveway. There's no gas station, no grocery yeah. store. It's just a Houses. Yeah, so odd. The Jelly Man's still here. He, we never caught him. We don't know if the Jelly Man drives the Chevy Cruze or what. Or Chevy, I think that was an Equinox, and then uh, VW. I don't know if the Jelly Man drives either of those. Yeah. And the, the two individuals who were walking were down here for, for forty five minutes. So I think we need to go down to the house and just make sure everything is good there. Um, but for now, we still need to figure out how do you how do you how do you catch these people because. Those were all the pictures I found. I went through every single one. I have no idea how the boxes got laid down, and I have no idea why one of them was open. I don't think we would have left it like that. No, we didn't. We should have put jelly in the packages. Maybe that would. Maybe he would have smelled it. It'd have been heavier. Yeah, I'm like, I'm. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, so maybe somebody just like quickly ran up in between camera photos. Like, how would they, like they got they so lucky. lucky? All yeah. that, all that, like all the different cameras. And not a single person went I mean, on the porch. My thing is, like, if they drove past twice, they might have seen the camera angles. Like, yeah. They were hidden, but not hidden. Hid they weren't, yeah, yeah. So maybe, like, they came up from this side or something different. And True. And, like, got out of the camera angles. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I don't know. I think we're getting outsmarted by the jelly man right now. Mm -hmm. So we need your guys' help. What should we do to catch the jelly man? How can we get somebody to slip up? And we gotta get proof of it. And we put out the cameras, and we're gonna leave the cameras. We're not gonna take them down because who knows if the gentleman's gonna decide to spread his seed in other locations around the property? Because that's not really what we need right now. Um, but anyways, like I said, we'll go down to the to the to the big house. But if there's nothing there, you guys are probably not gonna really see much. So I'm gonna go ahead and just wrap up the video here. I don't think there's a whole lot more we can do. We're getting bamboozled by the jail man. I think I, I can't believe dude, those packages sit now. Like I mean, people must not like yard work around here. Like no. who would not that's the easy like yeah. Like besides the obvious, like put up a freaking LG TV box. Like, I feel like that's too obvious though. Mm -hmm. How do you get somebody to, to do something like that and sh and show them and slip up?
Because yeah. right now, we, we confirmed the jelly is new. We confirmed the truck tracks, the tire tracks, backed up to this where they prop the screen door open, the storm door open, which is like the... Per I mean, so these guys are veterans. I mean, yeah. they, they know what they're doing. I don't su suspect it was the grandma and the child that walked down my property for five minutes. I highly doubt they broke in. Um, the two vehicles we saw were not vehicles that you would think would be used in a robbery. No, like you but maybe to case the scene, I guess. So, like, so like, you, like a lot of, I would, there's a statistic out there. I don't know what it is where people return to the crime scene after the crime. It's extremely high. Like if you like murder somebody and like put their bodies, like the odds that you return, what, I don't know what you're doing. You're just checking in on it, whatever is like, I've just like watched a lot of. America's Most Wanted or whatever. Okay. It's a very high probability that they, at some just, point, at some curious. point, it may be six months. It may be six hours. Yeah. At some point, they will return. Like, very rarely does somebody go commit a huge crime, like murder somebody, bury their body, and then, like, never return to that state ever again. It's very mm -hmm. unlikely. Wow. So that's what, those two other cars, it's like, could those be those guys that are just scoping out the next sting? Makes but they're not sense. in the vehicle they used because I don't think those no. were, the truck tires were definitely mm -hmm. too wide. And I don't think either one of those vehicles would be used in a robbery. You can't fit enough in an Equinox. So if a pickup truck drove by mm -hmm. or one of those like big cargo vans, then I would say maybe that's it. Yeah. So I think the two people maybe just took a wrong turn and had to flip around. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt right now. And then the grandma and the grandson, I'm just going to imagine that they're out scouting turkeys or something. I, I don't, I'm going I'm to give everybody the benefit of the doubt. I don't, I don't think anyone that we caught on camera was the jelly man. The jelly man is still at large. He's still on the run, and we need your guys' help. To catch the jelly man, call one eight hundred. Catch the jelly man uh, and report any tips. Banjo's got a five hundred dollar reward for any leads that lead to the capture of the jelly man. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video. We will catch you next one and peace.